Hey, what up? This is Eddie 4 and today we're doing something... Well, it's not really different if you think about it. But for me, it's new. And we're actually setting up a PS5 DualSense controller for the very first time on PC. I know, I know. You can do this on Steam. I get it. But not everybody wants to use Steam, you know? So today we're going to learn how to set up our PS5 DualSense controller using the Xbox 360 emulator on PC. I've created video tutorials on how to set up, you know, the Xbox controller, the PS3 controller, PS4, and Nintendo Pro controller. And today we're adding into the list the PlayStation 5 controller. And we're going to set this up with the Xbox 360 emulator on PC. By the way, if you find any of my videos tutorials helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a brand new video. Any doubts on how to get this done, you can go ahead and hit me up or catch me at twitch.tv slash 4 tv and you can ask me any questions related to how to set this up or you can also join the Discord community and, you know, touch base with us. So first thing first, the DualSense PlayStation 5 controller is sweet. I mean, I don't have a PS5, but this controller, man, if I had to tell you, I definitely feel the upgrade from a PS4 controller to a PS5. There's a caveat when you buy the PS5 controller. By the way, I have the link in the description below for any of the products that I'm using for this video. Uh, but I want to point out that this controller doesn't come with a USB-C cable. Now, for this method, you need a USB-C to USB-A cable, which will go from the PS5 controller to the PC. Now. New phones actually have a USB-C cable, so you can go ahead and use that. Or if you have a Nintendo Switch, you can use the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller cable and connect your PS5 controller to PC. In this case, I'm using my uh, OnePlus 6T um, cable. This works. But, 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 but by the way, just want to point out that this method doesn't work with the PS5 controller on Bluetooth or wireless. It's kind of odd, so you know how this works. Windows would have drivers for the controllers, but the drivers for these controllers are not up to par So it would actually connect through Bluetooth, but it won't stay connected for too long just a couple of seconds and then it will go off so that is not enough connectivity or uh, Consistency to be able to use the ps5 controller as a wireless or Bluetooth controller using the extra simulator now if you're interested on using a Bluetooth connection for the PS5 controller, go ahead and check the video on the card up here. I have in mind one little caveat. This happens sometimes, not all the time. After you set it up, it doesn't happen again. But there can be some times where your audio is going to be switched to the USB device that is connected. In this case, is going to be your PS5 controller. Now, as you know, I like to do this just to show that this tutorial actually works and it's teaching you how to set it up and make it work correctly. Um, so, you know, I usually test the game prior to actually uh, setting up the configuration so that you can verify and confirm that the game controller is not working on PC until we do the changes that I'll be suggesting in the video. Now, by doing this is a good way to actually, you know, prove that it's working. So, as you can see, I'm pressing all the buttons here nothing is happening and I like to do this because I can skip the uh, intro but in this case I can't so I'm gonna just go ahead and kill that and we're gonna dive in right away so open up the game folder actually if you don't know how to do that part you can go ahead and check any of the other videos where I detail every single step on how to get to the game folder Now we're going to go ahead and copy our x 60 emulator and drop it in here and run it as an administrator by just doing right click run as admin. We're going to prompt us for permission and then you know how this works. We want to go ahead and start by installing or creating the DLL file which is going to be the file that will set up the additional configuration for it to work in the game. I don't know the developers changed a few things in their server so now when you try to search for a controller configuration there isn't any. Uh, if you don't know how to fix this current issue for the PA, uh, the, the pad misconfigured device, just go ahead and watch the video in the card up here, and that has details on how to fix this and why it's happening. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and okay, and I'm gonna speed run this here real quick, 
and I want to reconfigure uh, my PS5 controller uh, to the PC. Now, what you can do is actually set up step by step each one of the buttons that are here. So as an extra bonus, I have added into the link in the description below the Xbox 360 controller emulator and I file which is the configuration of your PS5 controller on PC, so you don't have to worry about doing uh, this setup manually. Now in this case, what you want to do is actually copy the file and drop it into uh, the game folder where you have it and replace the current uh, configuration that you currently have. In this case, after that, I'm just gonna run as an administrator one more time and I'm gonna double check to see if my configuration has been applied. In this case, I already have all my buttons. Now, this is very similar to the PS4 controller settings, uh, but if you try to use the uh, game controller configuration that I shared on the PS4 controller video, it's not gonna work because the unique ID of the PS5 controller is different from the PS4 controller, so it won't allow you to apply that configuration. That is why I created a brand new configuration just for you, so you can go ahead and download and enjoy your game using your PS5 DualSense controller. Now in this case, as you can see, the buttons are going to be very similar. The triggers are axis 4 and axis 5, and you have another a couple of setups. And I like to test the controller prior to going into the game. Now, oof, the, this controller is so smooth. Okay, so as you know, the next thing we want to do is actually load the game. But because I've done this multiple times, I already know you want to actually change the X input DLL file name to the one that you know that works with the current game. Now this is trial and error. You have to test it out multiple times to figure out which is the proper name. But I know that for my computer with Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, I just need to change my DLL file name to X input 9 underscore 1 underscore 0. Bro. And this is how you set up a PS5 DualSense controller on PC. Now, if you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a brand new video. In the meantime, watch any of these videos that are up here. This is Eddie 4 Like that video and see you on the next one. Peace.